lighting trends come and go in the mobile DJ world, from up lights to moon flowers, moving heads to effect lights. But some of these trends are here to stay. And I think one of those trends is the LED lighting tube. These have popped up everywhere over the past few years, from elegant, high-end luxury profile events to everyday weddings. And today, I have a solution for the common man, the regular DJ out there. A lot of the lighting tube solutions cost a ton of money. You either are waiting for a half reliable product to come on a boat to you across the sea for a month, or you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars for one of the high-end solutions. Today though, Eliminator Lighting, one of the ADJ companies, has got a four pack of LED tube lights that you can grab for a couple hundred dollars that comes with a lot of accessories, and in my mind is a great option for those of you that want to dip your feet in the LED tube lighting world. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you're new here, thank you for joining me, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. On the table in front of me, I have the Eliminator Lighting LED BP Tubes. This is a four pack of battery powered rechargeable LED tube lights run off of an IR remote with included stands and mounting hardware so that you can use them vertically, horizontally, or just setting on the floor in front of your DJ booth or band. In this video today, I wanna to show you everything that comes in the package, talk about the experience using this product over the past little while, show you some footage of it at an event and doing some testing here in the basement, and then let you know, last but not least, what I think and whether or not it's worth picking up for yourself. Before we dive into things though, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos coming down the pipeline. Enough about that though, let's take a look at these Eliminator Lighting's LED BP tubes. You'll notice that on the table in front of me, I don't have a cardboard box, and that's because the unboxing portion of this video has already been done. But what I do have in front of me is a nice fabric canvas carrying bag for the system. I love when companies include this. It takes the hassle out of finding something that fits. This is tailor-made for the product, and you can carry the whole set of four tubes in a bag that's only about that large. The tubes themselves weigh a pound and a half a piece, so I think altogether everything here, you're under 10 pounds. Very, very easy to transport from event to event. Now, pulling open the uh, handle right there and unzipping the rather nice zipper, I must say, you're going to see the system itself. Inside of the packaging, held in with these Velcro straps, are the four tubes themselves. And let's start by talking about the construction of these. These I'm gonna be honest with you, these are not your thousand dollar LED tubes. These are made of a very lightweight plastic with a plastic cap on the end, a little bit of metal on the bracket here at the bottom. But other than that, this is not meant to be thrown around or have things stacked on top of. Keep that in mind. This is probably gonna be the most fragile bit of kit, uh, gear or kit that you own. With that being said though, I don't think that they are like gonna break like eggshells or fine china. You can definitely carry this bag and, and put it on top of things that can move around in your car. It's gonna hold up to some use, but I would not plan on uh, abusing these if you can. Now, this uh, coming in, I think this is about a meter long. You're going to have the clear frosted um, tubing around the edge right here. On the back, there is a darker area where the LEDs run. There are 32 3-in-1 RGB LEDs. There are also a couple of plastic brackets right here if you want to mount this on your trussing vertically or horizontally. I just keep those snapped on at the base of the light because they're clear you can't really see them even if this is sitting on the ground. Now at the bottom there's a small pigtail that is where you're going to charge the light. They do include in the package like you'll see in a moment four chargers they're just your AC to DC wall warp plugs. Each of those will plug into the pigtail on the light itself. There's a small metal bracket right here which you can use to hang the light vertically. There is a red button right here which powers the light on and off. You can see that, maybe you can see that power on right there power it back off. That's the only control on the light. Now there are four of these in the pack. You're also going to get of course your user manual that shows you how to run everything and a few very important accessories. The first of those being these plastic feet. If you want to use these mounted or excuse me sitting on the ground uh, in front of your booth or on a stage you want to attach the three tripod feet. They just slip in to the bottom of the light in the little channels right here. It's just as easy as one and two, if I can get it in, there we go, and three. So now I've got the feet on and I can use this setting on a surface, okay, just like that. So there's enough feet for all of the four bars, 12 of these in total. You're also going to get four mounting brackets, again, for vertical hanging with the included screws to hook those to the unit. And then you get four 
of these charging blocks. Now, one area that I think that Eliminator could have made this process a little more streamlined was having one charger for all four lights. Instead of having four of these, it would be nice to just have a single AC plug with separate adapters for all of the different lights. Maybe the case could even have it built in so you could just charge them all in one location. That would be super handy. As it is, you're gonna need four outlets to charge all of these at once, which is kind of a pain. Not the end of the world though. So I've got all my hardware right here. I've got the padded bag. We've got the four lights and we're coming in under a couple hundred bucks. That's super nice. Now, other important specs for this, eight hours of battery life. It takes five hours to charge these to full. Plenty for your average event, a six hour wedding. You should be able to run these the entire time. Now, these are not DMX compatible. You cannot program these with the lighting controller. You're going to do all of your programming from the last accessory, which I failed to mention when I unpacked these and it's gone and hidden itself somewhere in the bottom. There it is your IR remote. ADJ is very familiar with these, or Eliminator I should say. They've put these with a ton of their lights over the years and I think they've got them down to a science. It's very lightweight, very thin. Don't lose this though because this is the only way to control these lights. There is no button on the light itself to cycle through programs. So if you lose your remote, you are up a creek. I think that's one of the shortcomings. It would have been nice to have some sort of adjustability on the light itself in the event that you lost this and you were in an emergency situation. But if you do have this remote, it works perfectly. We've got nine, uh, I guess I should say 12 with the RGB at the top, 12 color buttons for presets. If you just wanna use these for accent lighting, have them on a static color for architectural design, you can just walk around, boom, 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 point at each of the lights, set them to a static color, and away you go. You can also access the auto programs, the sound active programs. You can adjust the strobing as well as the speed of the programs with the little plus and minus buttons right there. Up at the top, you can also black out and turn on the lights with dedicated on and off buttons. So one of the best ways I think to use this would be to set these up at an event, have them blacked out with the remote while you're doing the formalities or while there's nothing really going on. If it's daytime, whatever, you can conserve the battery. Then when the uh, event is about to start, because this remote is IR, it does have to be aimed at the light. I would clump the lights together, turn them on so that their auto programs are synced, and then you could set them up up around your room. Alternatively, if you don't care that they're synced or if they're just doing a static color, you can just go from light to light and turn them on with the remote. Now, I wanna set these up in the uh, man cave down here and I'll overlay some video of the different programs. All in all, I think what they have created as far as preset auto modes is really, really nice. There's different variability between slow fades, between jumps, chases from one end to the other, dual color patterns. They all look really nice and the colors are very, very vibrant. The LEDs between the different tubes do match each other. The color temperatures are identical. There's no variability between them, which can't be an issue uh, for more affordable lights, but I don't see that here on the LED BP tubes. Um, like I mentioned, if you want these to have synced programs because they don't communicate with each other, you need to set them right next to each other in the remote at all of them at once and turn them on. That's a bit of a hassle and it makes setting up before a gig a little bit tough, but it's just the price you pay when you get something this affordable. Now, um, eventually they will go out of sync with each other just because they're not clocked or timed or communicating in any way. So you may have to get them back in sync from time to time. Overall though, the experience using these has been awesome. I've taken these to an event and used these in front of the DJ booth. They really add a lot of eye candy. It makes it feel like much more of a production. Lights like these are not meant to wash your crowd in color. They're not meant to cover large areas, but when people are looking at you as the performer, they really do add a lot to the visual image of your act. I think that uh, more and more we're expecting to see artists, DJs have this stage presence of a large concert and these go a long way in adding to that aesthetic. So all in all, if you are trying to get into the LED stick or the LED tube game and you're not willing to drop thousands of dollars on the big name brands, I think Eliminator has come up with an awesome solution for the right scenarios. Great as accent lighting, great as eye candy, you know, simple eye candy to uh, augment or add to your show. And the fact that it comes with the case, a remote, all the stands, all the brackets, everything you need to get these going right out of the box is really phenomenal. So hats off to Eliminator for the LED BP tubes. And if you wanna check them out more, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go read about them there. And if you're not gonna pick some up, just go ahead, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of the content coming out in the future. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.